120 is like all I can get. All right, everyone. I'm gonna do a quick uh, winter ride. Uh, I don't want to put my motorcycle in storage. So I try to, uh, you know, ride all through the winter, at least once a week, uh, maybe 30 minutes at a time. And also, I just had my clutch replaced. And I want to just, I just want to test if everything's working okay. Uh, so let's go. All right, close the garage. Yeah, bike's still kind of cold, so... Whoa, it's windy. Really windy. Can we turn on the heater grips? Alright, so about, uh... It's about 40... 45 degrees. And you, as you can see, like, there's still some snow. But last night... Uh, there was like a big rainstorm that cleared, cleared out all the snow. It was actually like 50 degrees overnight. Uh, right now it's really windy. Uh, but with the heat of grips, you know, I don't feel anything. Whoa, what's going on here? Okay. So I'm going to try to, uh, yeah, I'm going to get on the highway. Uh, test the new clutch, make sure everything's working fine. Oh wow, someone's out riding. Alright, getting on the highway now. So, uh, like the weekend before Christmas, I wanted to do some uh, uh, motor vlogging in Manhattan, New York City. And I got on this highway right here. And from the start, uh, my motorcycle started lagging. Like, I wouldn't get any acceleration. So I kept on revving it, revving it. Uh, right around, I think right around here. You know, I was revving it out and then nothing was happening. And then over right around here is when uh, I started losing uh, acceleration a lot, like really fast. And I was panicking. And at the time, I had no idea, absolutely no idea that um, it was the clutch. And then, you know, my motorcycle wouldn't go anymore. So I got a... Uh, Strand that like right over here around here and as you can see it's like uphill so no actually I got stranded where did I get stranded oh I got stranded like right up there yeah right here so up there it's going uphill and it wouldn't go anywhere, it would just overheat. And I tried to figure out what's going on. I was here for like maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Finally, I let the bike cool down. But it, I mean, it wouldn't go uphill right here. But there's an exit on the other side, uh, which is close to my house. So I basically, uh, from here basically went over this grassy part divider and I got over there thank God now I think uh, my clutch was slipping way before this incident but I just didn't really uh, I just noticed because I'm still like a new rider that's my second year and this bike is so smooth that you know I thought 
clutch slipping meant like you couldn't get into gear and stuff and I could get into gear no problem it was just that I wasn't getting like good acceleration so like like a month before this incident I um, I started having like acceleration like you wouldn't accelerate as, as fast and maybe that was the clutch slipping uh, but I know what to look for now uh, it's like brand new now I'm just testing it out um, I'm gonna go this way I'm going this way for like an exit to see if there's any cops hiding and then I'll come back and try to uh, go try to get like top speed all right so let's go right there thank god all right so which which way do i go yeah bike feels good I think one of the issues with the clutch uh, getting uh, burnt out was because uh, at the stop sign I used to just keep it in second or third gear and just blast away and this was tight there was not much free play so if I had my fingers on here I guess the clutch was always engaged and maybe that was probably the reason I you know wore out the clutch all right, I'm going the back the other way. Oh, I see the cop right there. I gotta be careful. In my radio ahead. I guess it's a disabled vehicle. Get it. Whoa, there's another one. What's going on? Well, I think they caught like sometimes they have like a team. I guess they caught like two cars separately. Wow, it's windy. This bike overall is very stable, but today it's like super windy. All right, let me get past this exit and I'll try to uh, go a little bit faster. All right, let's go. It's too windy. I'm getting I'm getting blown blown around a lot. Another spot right here. A lot of cops. So I gotta be careful.
They hide right behind that uh, bridge. Right on the other side. There's a disabled... Yeah, I don't think this truck's supposed to be here. Trucks are not allowed on this highway. The only like... Uh, school buses are allowed, but regular buses and trucks are not allowed. There's a beautiful highway to ride. So I gotta be careful because this is where they're gonna hide right here. They hide right here instead of the uh, U-turn. Let me just pass this gas station. Uh, and then I think I can do one more uh, one more pull. Wow, these heated grips, man, they make a huge difference riding in the winter. All right, let me just get through here. Oh my God, it's windy, blowing me everywhere. All right, nothing here, nothing here. Let's go! get out of here I have a strange feeling there's gonna be a cop near here all right let me just get back on the highway for uh, one short uh, exit and then we'll call it a day One is like all I can get. All right, I think that's about it. I think that's good enough for today. It's just too windy. I'm getting blown sideways. Yeah, so uh, when I got stranded with the clutch, uh, blown, uh, clutch burnt, this is the way home from that exit where I crossed the uh, grassy middle. And right here, whoa, right here is a. Um, uh, roadside like a uh, stop uh, there's a state park over here and this is like a place right here um, the filling station which is like a, a spot for uh, all the motorcycles like on the weekend if it's nice weather it's full of motorcycles and that weekend it was a Saturday I believe and on the way home I had my you know my clutch was dead I, but I didn't know and I had no idea what was going on so since I'm passing and I see a bunch of motorcycles I was thinking maybe you know somebody might know what's going on 
So I stop in there, you know, talk to multiple guys. They're, they got like Ducatis, they got like the R1, they got BMWs. These guys, you know, older guys that look like, you know, they know they've been riding for a long time. And they all looked at it, they, didn't, they had no idea. But when I posted this video, like a few days ago, about the uh, incident, uh, people knew right away, like it was the clutch. And when I brought it to the dealership, the tech knew right away it was the clutch. So, just saying. Just because you got like expensive like uh, motorcycles, um, they're probably the, they're probably like squids like me, who have no idea what they're doing. But I'm happy. Uh, thank God, Kavi came through uh, with the warranty. It seems like it's my error. Um, but you know, it's lesson learned. All right, home sweet home. I think it's sufficiently warmed up. Tomorrow is a pretty nice day, so maybe I'll try to ride one more time tomorrow. But next week's gonna be kind of cold. All right. I wish I had the skill to just make a turn right here. You know, instead of doing this duck walk. But I don't have the skill. All right.